In the late 60s, James Taylor got the chance to audition in front of Paul McCartney and George Harrison. I'll, Ringo, I don't know if you were there, but this is a true story. <laughs> I was as nervous as a chihuahua on metamphetamines, <laughs> is what James Taylor says, which is exactly the kind of metaphor that makes him such a brilliant songwriter. But if James has a defining gift, it is empathy. It's why he's been such a great friend to Michelle and myself. We're so grateful to him and Kim for their friendship over the years. Uh, it's why everybody from Carol King to Garth Brooks to Taylor Swift collaborates with him. It's what makes him among the most prolific and admired musicians of our time. In fact, James recently went through all his songs and kept coming across the same stories, songs about fathers and traffic jams, love songs, recovery songs. I, I really love this phrase, hymns for agnostics. <laughs> he says that in making music, there is the idea of comforting yourself. There's also the idea of taking something that's untenable and internal and communicating it. And that's why it feels like James is singing only to you when he sings. It feels like he's singing about your life. The stories he tells and retells dwell on our most enduring and shared experiences. Carolina on my mind is about where you grew up, even if you didn't grow up in Carolina. Mean old man is probably somebody you know. <laughs> Angels of Fenway. Well, actually, that's just about the Red Sox. So <laughs> if you're a White Sox fan, you don't love that song, but it's OK. James is the consummate truth teller about a life that can leave us with more unresolved questions than satisfying answers, but holds so much beauty that you don't mind. And from his honesty about his own strugg struggles with substance abuse to his decades of progressive activism, James Taylor has inspired people all over the world and helped America live up to our highest ideals. Thank you, James Taylor. <laughs>